Hello, so uh, I just uh, finished a run, five kilometers I think it was, felt great, but uh, today, this afternoon, I'm actually going to a doctor's appointment with my uh, eye doctors. Let's say it like this, I have a bad feeling about that, maybe I'm just worrying too much, but um, I'm a bit worried and anxious and nervous about it so uh, I mean I really don't want to have any more problems with my eyes than I have had the last couple of years so let's hope for the best. I just came home from my uh, doctor's visit and uh, maybe I shouldn't worry that much it's partly good news and partly bad news. The bad news is basically my vision isn't completely perfect for my age and um, so on but yeah. I mean, I have a rare neurological disease that affects my vision, so of course it's not going to be normal. That's part of the disease. I still have uh, cerebrospinal fluid that is pressing around my optic nerves, but uh, it's not something that I have to really worry about at this stage. And actually, I didn't need a doctor. I met a nurse that did all the tests to me, and. Uh, she said that it's, it is looking pretty good, but it's not normal. It's not like it should be a, at a normal person, but it's not something that we are worried about at this moment. So she is going to send the results to my eye doctors and my eye doctor is also going to send that results further to my neurologist. So, um, and they are going to look at it and then discuss a plan for me. The last couple of days I had um, some worries and anxiety related to uh, this visit because, um, I mean, this is the first uh, visit at my eye doctor that I have after I discontinued my medication. So it felt like it was a really important one. And of course, all my visits are important, but the days leading up to this appointment has been draining in, in a way. And I feel completely emotionally drained right now. And that always happens after my doctor's visits. It's so much stress that just bam, disappears after my doctor's visits. No matter if it's great results or bad results. So anyway, I am disappointed that there still is pressure around my optic nerves, but I am glad that it's not that much so I have to start medication for it at this moment. Maybe I will start the medication again after my neurologist have spoken to my eye doctor, I don't know, but it wasn't something that had to be done today. And that's a great song. And I want to tell you also why I've been worried about my vision the last couple of days and actually since I stopped my medication. And that is because I've seen some like weird uh, and strange shadows, not central in my, in my eyes, but it's like around here. It's not been like dark or gray, it's more like almost invincible but you can see that there is something there and uh, I, that is probably the the uh, cerebrospinal fluid that is pressing towards my optic nerves and that was something that i didn't experience the last couple of uh, months when i was on medication but it was something that I did experience for a couple of months before I was diagnosed with my idiopathic intracranial hypertension. So of course that brings up a lot of memories for me. But anyway, I really don't know if I have the energy to talk anymore because I'm so emotionally drained at this moment. And I don't know if I will be able to edit this video tonight. Maybe I'll do it some other day. But uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because it really helps me spreading my story and spreading knowledge about my IIH and I truly appreciate that. And uh, 
See you in the next one. Bye.